All right, I'm going to be honest. I was nervous last night sitting courtside at Viejas watching the Aztecs-Boise State game, a great college basketball game that San Diego State pulled out in thrilling fashion in overtime, 78-66. And Jordan Shackle joining us right now, less than 24 hours in front of his senior day. And Jordan, it is always great to have you with us here on Extra 1360. So I'm nervous watching. What's it like playing? You guys haven't been tested in a close game like that in weeks and weeks. So what's that like? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, honestly. Um, the game was super competitive. Um, we knew what type of game we were getting ourselves into, um, and it's exactly the game we wanted to close out the year. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's a little different without fans. You don't really get to feel the intensity um, like you're normally used to. Um, kind of looked up at the score, and it was like, man, it's like a two-point game. <laughs> 30 seconds left. You know, it doesn't really feel like that. Um, but it's just a lot of fun still, even with no fans, it's still a lot of fun to play in those games. Yeah. It's interesting that you say that like that, uh, a game like that where you, I mean, potentially could have lost it. Right. You know, but, but it gets you a little bit closer to what you're missing in an empty arena, which is energy and, and feeling alive a little bit and, and feeling the, the passion and the pursuit of that, that competition. Uh, did it feel like you guys kind of had to turn it on? Like you, you had, you had, kind of had that flip that switch flipped for so long just sort of having some easier times winning that you needed a needed to find that fifth gear um I think we came out with a lot of energy I think we had a lot of energy um just you know playing Boise State being tied for first uh I think that brought energy in in and of itself um so I think it was different from other games in the year where um you know maybe Something like that wasn't at stake. Um, normally, you use the fans to get you through. But I think last night um, and moving forward, you know, in the elimination games, I don't think I don't think it matters if there's fans or not. Um, the energy is going to be there because we know, you know, we know it's at stake. Um, it's a little different than a regular game. You know, Jordan, when your shot isn't falling, and we're so used to seeing it fall, you've had this incredible senior season. But when it isn't falling, how do you make sure you can still? make your mark on a game because last night, you know, you scored six points. You had a huge three in overtime. I thought the difference really to give you guys separation, but you finish your plus minus was plus 16 when you were on the floor. So what are you able to do when your shot, you know, isn't falling like it has for most of the year? Yeah. You know, they, they play really good defense. Um, and when my shot's not falling, um, yeah, you know, I gotta be a guy that's really locked down on defense. Some of my teammates can count on, you know, there's a lot of other ways to affect the game for me, rebounding, um, is one of them playing defense, talking, you know, making sure guys are in the right spot um, on offense, you know, being aggressive to the offensive glass, making sure that we, everyone's in the right spot when we're running a play. Um, if they want to deny me, and I still have to be involved somehow, but, um, you know, you always want your shot to fall. But um, I think it's growth for me personally, um, just being able to do other things even when, even when my shot's not falling. No, and you do. This whole team does. I mean, you guys you guys cleaned the glass last night. I think you out-rebounded them by 15-14, I think it was, the final tally. And uh, you did a nice job on that offensive glass like you just mentioned. I, is that something that's really emphasized at practice? Like it, Because I think there are so many teams that miss so many opportunities, especially in close games, by not being in the positions they're supposed to be to to get those second chance opportunities offensively or or to stop a possession. Yeah, I think our coaches do a great job stressing the importance of the offensive glass, and we have guys that are capable of going and making plays. Uh, Ag, Josh, Nate, Keyshad, guys that are extremely athletic. Um, they can fly in there in the offensive glass, and even if it doesn't go their way, they're athletic enough. You know, long enough arms, they can they can get a ball that's out of their area. Um, not everybody can do that, and so a coach just stressed, you know, how important it is. You know, down the stretch, everybody's going to know our plays. They're going to know where we like to go. Scouting reports are going to just keep increasing, so it's going to be tough to score on the first shot in uh, in the half court. Um, just getting the second second chance points um, will only help us down the road. Jordan Shackle joining us right now in Extra. Jordan, tell us about what happened today after practice. You're getting ready for senior day tomorrow. You had family members surprise you and your fellow seniors after practice on Zoom. Tell us what that was like for you. Yeah, it was nice. Um, I'm somebody who, over, you know, I, I tend to overthink. So I was, 
I was surprised, but I, I kind of knew something was coming just because, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just that type of guy. I'm always thinking about stuff, so it's hard to really surprise me. Um, you know, but it was nice um, to see everybody on Zoom and do our little presentation um, that we would have done normally that, that you would do on senior night for the game. But I was thinking, you know, a lot of times on senior night, guys get kind of emotional. Um, you know, it's a big, it's a big night. Family and everybody is there, and sometimes you don't know, have the best game. So I'm glad we got out of the way today and just focus on the game tomorrow because there's a lot more at stake for us than it was on senior night last year, um, for sure. So Schaefer here was courtside, and he left the arena buzzing, couldn't sleep. He was awake until like midnight. I mean, he's texting Later me. That, I'm just I like, leave me alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm already in bed. You stop already. I, I, how do you come down from a game like that? You know what I mean? Especially during a pandemic, you can't really blow off steam maybe the, the same way you used to. Are you a reader? Are you a video game guy? Like, like how, do you, how do you get down from that emotional high? Um. Last night might have been the first game this year where it really felt like, you know, that adrenaline rush, that, you know, that feeling like, wow, um, you know, that was, that was a real college basketball game when they came down to the wire overtime. You know, one of those games, I haven't had to come, come down from a game like that this year. It's been a little different. Um, and to be honest, there's not a lot you can do, at least for me. You know, I just try to go to sleep, but if I can't, you know, I don't force myself and, I guess just let let myself be excited because these moments, you know, these moments don't come often. I think that might have been my first overtime game I've ever played at San Diego State, hmm. and we happened to win it. So games like that that are that are close, a lot of stuff went wrong, but at the end of the day, be happy because. Everything feels better when you win. Yeah, a lot, a lot better than the alternative. Uh, Jordan Shackle joining us right now on Extra. So let's talk about tomorrow. I mean, what will it be like for you? It is senior day. Uh, what are your expectations for tomorrow? How do you block all of that out? Because, I mean, this is the, the culmination of a career at Viejas Arena. What's that going to be like? Um, I think it's going to be special. Um, the opponent that we're playing... Um, is extremely tough, and we're just expecting another war like it was yesterday. Um, I think the energy will be the same. It'll be the same type of atmosphere. And um, I think we'll just be ready to go. And I think it'll come down to to some close plays and to some hustle plays like it did last night, and, and um, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. So are we. I mean, and that's exactly right. Like you guys loose balls. You, you, everybody's after them. Like we were talking about the rebounding earlier. You guys just you play at a different pace than most of the teams in conference. Now, Boise State, like you said, they're a very talented group and this is going to be a war on Saturday. No question about it. But a, a close one like you described where the energy's there and you're, you're buzzing after a victory. You kind of wanted to have one of those before the Mount West Conference Tournament, right? You wanted to have one of those before March, and you guys had to Indianapolis, uh, you know, because essentially this game sort of punched your ticket, right? You, you have a lot ahead of you. You needed to have a game like this to sort of steal your resolve that you can win a game like this. Yeah, I think it's good. Even, even you know, last year, um, I don't always like to bring up last year, but we didn't have that many close games. Um, I felt like when we did, you know, there's part of us that it felt kind of foreign, you know, to this year's team. Never like to lose, but we lost we lost some close games already. We know what that feels like. We know how to persevere. And I think last night a lot of things went wrong. Um, they started pressing us. We went stagnant on offense, and they had a lot of energy at the end of the game. And to find a way to win that, um, that game was big for us. Um, uh, you know, not a lot of times that at my career in San Diego State have have I been on a team that has weathered a storm like that and uh, came out on top. So I think that's big for us. Jordan, before we let you go, I, I wanted to ask you one more question about you know your four years. You've got a regular season title in the Mountain West. You've got a conference title. You've played in an NCAA tournament game. Last year was stolen from you guys like everyone because of the pandemic. What would it mean for you and Matt and the seniors in this team to not just get to an NCAA tournament but make some noise there? Um, I think it would mean a lot. I think it would um, mean a lot to the university, um, to everyone that played on the team last year, and um, you know, to to the fans and everyone who believes in us. 
everyone who fights for us, um, claps back at, at other teams, fans on Twitter. You know, I think it just means a lot. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, and it'll be fun. You know, there's never been a bubble NCAA tournament to my knowledge. So it'd be the first of that kind. And, you know, get in that situation, anything can happen. And, and um, you know, it'll, it'll be fun. Hopefully, hopefully we make it there. No question about it. Jordan, congratulations on a great year. We're looking forward to seeing you on Senior Day tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we appreciate your time, and we'll be talking to you come March, all right? All right, thank you.